he came home I had got off of work and he uh, went out for a celebration and so I said I'm gonna surprise him and meet him there so I hurried up and got home and just put on this nice cute dress I went and I met him and we were dancing I had his sister and one of his brothers there and we were dancing just having a great time I didn't want to tell him bye I just said I love you Quinn can't wait for you to get back don't want to act like he's not coming back and sometimes I wish now I would have just um, hugged him a little longer kissed him a little longer on October the 2nd 2015 my son's plane went down in Afghanistan shortly after takeoff and everyone aboard was killed devastating but I do know that our freedom is not free my family and my son, we have paid the ultimate sacrifice. He died on October the 2nd, and he had a daughter born November the 10th. So that has brought us a lot of comfort in seeing her and just giving her the love that he would have gave her. There was a moment that I couldn't breathe, I think, for like three or four weeks. I have to think about the good times we've shared and the fact that I was blessed to have him as a son for 21 wonderful years. So, it's not easy. <laughs> I smile, but I cry. I smile, but I cry. Today's Memorial Day. I miss him. Some things in this world we don't understand. You gotta have faith. <laughs> now she smiles. <laughs>